नमस्ते दोस्तों हेलो फ्रेंड्स दिस इज सुमन शर्मा वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल सुमन एजुकेशन हब इंग्लिश इन टूडेज वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न इफ यू हैव ऑलरेडी परचेज टेली प्राइम सॉफ्टवेयर एंड आफ्टर सम टाइम आफ्टर वन ईयर इफ यू हैव अपडेटेड योर सॉफ्टवेयर एंड यू हैव रिसीव बिल फ्रॉम टेली कंपनी सो हाउ यू हैव पास एंड हाउ यू हैव रिकॉर्ड टेली प्राइम सॉफ्टवेयर अपडेटेड इन वाइस इन टेली प्राइम आई एम गोइंग टू टेल यू इन दिस वीडियो and uh, before starting video and before move into the video it's my personal request to all of you you can share my channel to your family member with your friend with your student whoever want to learn accounts work in english language you can share my channel all of them and if you are coming first time visiting first time so please like share and subscribe to my new youtube channel which is suman education hub and don't forget to press the bell icon so that you will get all the notification of my future video so let's get started open tally prime and first we will create some basic ledger for recording this entry so from gateway of tally click on create option and then ledger option first we will create tally company ledger by whom we are going to purchase this service so tally solution company i have created under group sundry creditors maintain balances bill by bill years and fill all the information related party like address state and gst number and after providing all the details save this ledger by pressing control a next ledger we are going to create for software charges as because we are going to purchase software charges so we need to create software charges ledger under group we will select indirect expenses and gst will be applicable set alter gst yes and you have to fill ssc code for software charges and nature of transaction select purchase taxable if you are purchasing from interstate so you have to select in nature of transaction not applicable 18% tax will be applicable on this service and save this ledger now basics ledger has been created successfully it's time to record the entry so from gateway of tally we have to press v you can enter this software charges entry in journal voucher or in purchase voucher so i am going to show you in purchase voucher how you will enter this software charges and software updated charges entry in tally prime so select purchase voucher from the right hand side and you have to change your purchase voucher modes from the right hand side click on ch change mode and you have to select accounting mode in this mode we are going to pass software updated charges invoice by pressing f2 you have to change date and supplier's invoice number and party account number tally solution company and from here we have to select software updated charges ledger and you can see here is showing description option so you can mention your description for ledger like how much computer has been updated and whatever detail you want to fill in ledger description you can fill so i'm going to fill here updated software and here you have to put your taxable value let's suppose it is 4000 so on 4000 we have to apply tax as because we are purchasing from local state so input is just 9% and input as just 9% will be applicable over here if taxation ledger is not created so you can create by here by pressing control c i have already created input c gst and input as gst ledger now you can see 4720 it's a total bill amount in narration you can mention you can mark your narration and after marking you can save this entry now i'll show you uh, if you want to see this parties ledger so how you will see this parties ledger so let's click on go to option and then click on ledger reports option then ledger voucher now here i am going to open tally solution company now you can see we have purchased 4720 this is a software updation charges invoice and from here we are going to pay our outstanding so select payment voucher and change your date and we have to debit to the party tally solution company 
and in against reference you can select against which reference you are going to make the payment and select from here your bank will be credit so this is how you can see tally prime solution company first we have purchased software updated charges invoice and after that we have made the payment for the same invoice so here ledger is nil so this is how you can also update and you can also enter invoice for software updation charges in tally prime